how to replace the post column filter. The post column filter is an important part of your OmniSec system. It protects your detectors from particulates shedding from the column set and serves as a last line of defense against partially and poorly soluble samples. Over time, material can accumulate on the filter membrane, which can lead to increased system pressure. Eventually, particulates can begin to pass through the filter membrane, which will cause your light scattering signal to become increasingly noisy. Fortunately, replacing the post column filter is one of the easiest things you can do to help keep your OmniSec system healthy. This video will show you how to replace your post column filter. First, locate the current post column filter in OmniSec Resolve. This filter should be located inside the column compartment after the analytical column set and before the exit line that flows into OmniSec Reveal. Second, use appropriate wrenches to remove the post column filter housing from the flow path. Use caps to seal the lines while the filter housing is removed. The tools you'll need to change the post column filter include two wrenches, two new frits, two new Teflon O-rings, and a new filter membrane with 0.2 micron pores. A plastic syringe can also be helpful to remove the used components from the housing. Open the filter housing using the wrenches. Use the syringe to push the used filter components out of the housing. You may need to use a spatula or a small screwdriver to completely remove the old filter pieces. A dirty filter membrane will likely show accumulated particulates on the exposed portion of its surface. Next, reassemble the filter with the new components. Start by snapping the frits into the O-rings. Use a hard surface and flip the set over to ensure the frit is firmly in place. Then. Place one frit and o-ring into the filter housing and use the smallest housing piece to push it into place. Next, put the filter membrane in the filter housing and use the smallest housing piece to gently push it all the way in. Add the other frit and o-ring set on top of the filter membrane and reassemble the filter housing. Now, noting the direction of flow by the arrow on the filter housing, reconnect the tubing to the inlet of the post column filter housing. Start the flow at 0.1 milliliters per minute using the instrument control panel. Wait for the mobile phase to elute from the outlet of the filter housing. Once flow is visible, connect the outlet line and tighten using the wrenches. Do not over tighten. Wipe the connection with the tissue to check for leaks and replace the filter housing within the column compartment. Replacement parts are available for order on our e-store. Filter membranes are available in three different materials depending on what's most appropriate for your application. Please contact us with any questions. Thank you.